Today is a bittersweet day. It is December 7th, and after over four months in Europe, we are finally heading back home to the US, back to Chicago to see our families and whatnot for Christmas. Uh, you can probably see that it's super dark because it's like 6.30 in the morning here in Munich, Germany. And as always, before we leave this place, I want to show a quick tour of the place where we are staying. Now, if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that most of our places have been Airbnbs mainly because they tend to be a lot more dog friendly than hotels and we have our little girl Nala here um, but we found this hotel it's sort of like an apartment hotel thing um, not because we were looking for something like that but because it was one of the cheapest places we could find for uh, for just a few nights in Munich so first let's talk about the location we are at the Wunderlach Sendling uh, you can Google that if you want to see where it is. Um, so I guess we're in the Sendling neighborhood. Um, can't really talk about the neighborhood because we didn't really get a chance to explore it. Uh, the only reason we're in this neighborhood is because we found a relatively cheap place, but it's close to the metro. So we pretty much just walked from here to the metro. It's like a five minute walk and then took it to the city center every day. So not an ideal location, but because it's close to the metro, it wasn't bad at all. It took like 20 minutes to get to Marienplatz. So walking into the entrance, notice Munich does a terrible job at salting or shoveling the snow. I've walked through more like slippery, icy snow here in Munich than I have pretty much anywhere else. And I'm from a city that gets a shit ton of snow, but Chicago does a much better job cleaning it up. All right, coming into the unit, this is basically a hotel room slash little studio apartment. Uh, so we have a bathroom right here, pretty normal bathroom stuff, uh, pretty nice shower. This bathroom's actually really nice. <clears throat> we have a little desk here, hangers and stuff, living area. Uh, we have a kitchen. This is something I haven't had much in hotel rooms. And this is basically, it's got everything you need. It's got a little stove here, a little electric stove. Um, and there's our trash. Uh, we got a, a washer and dryer. Uh, that's super nice. We make good use of that. Um, all these cabinets, we have stuff, bowls, cups, plates. Uh, what do we have up here? Oh, we have a, there's a cheese grater. Always gotta have a cheese grater. Got a, a fridge. We haven't really used this. We've only been here for two nights. Pots and pans and stuff. A dishwasher. Probably the smallest dishwasher I've ever seen. But yeah, it's got everything you need to live here for a little while. Lexi pointed out this would be really good for corporate housing. We got our bed here. We got our little Nala here. Got, uh, got these stairs that, I haven't opened these yet, but we only have storage under the stairs. So, ah, hard to close. Um, got another one here. Really good use of space here. Uh, and then we have this little door that opens. Uh, no actual back one need to walk out into, but uh, see a little view out here. Not much to see in this neighborhood, even when it's bright out. But uh, yeah, this place gets the job done. So how much did this place cost? Uh, the total came out to about 140 US dollars per night. Uh, which was one of the cheaper places we could find in Munich that would that would let Nala stay with us. Uh, but yeah, we are now at the end of the expensive part of our adventure. Uh, we'll be going home for a few weeks and then we'll be going to Southeast Asia where things will be much, much cheaper. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see our adventures there and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye Europe. It's been a great four months.